the headlines. Prime Minister Dr. Abiy Ahmed has opened an official visit to Italy. China's economy grew at its lowest rate since 1990. Hello and welcome to Romeo Broadcasting Network News. I'm Thomas Kamala to be the latest story of the hour. Ethiopian Prime Minister Dr. Abiy Ahmed arrived in Rome, Italy for official visit. Upon arrival, he was warmly received by members of Ethiopian community in Rome, where he will hold in key bilateral discussion with, with development partners beginning today. FBC reports indicate that the Premier will also meet with the Prime Minister of Italy, Giuseppe Conte, following his invitation to Prime Minister Dr. Abiy during his 2018 Ethiopian visit, according to the Office of Prime Minister. The Prime Minister will be attending World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland, to begin on 22 January and end on 25 January 2019. In Davos, he will strike dialogues with world leaders, global business leaders, economists, politicians, international financiers, and renewed high-profile academies. The theme of the C this, this year World Economic Forum is Globalization 4.0, shaping a new architecture in the age of the fourth industrial revolution. Vice President of the Euromea Regional States and the Coordinator of Social Cluster, Abbas, and said pastoralists should improve their living condition by effectively utilizing irrigation system. Olga Ondemo has more on that. The delegation led by Vice President of the Yoramia Regional State, who is also coordinator of Social Cluster Taiba Hassan, has inaugurated irrigation projects in Yabalo district of Boranadon. <laughs> The projects were under construction starting from the previous year. The projects are constructed by a cost of 44 million baht and are expected to benefit more than 400 households. Pastoralists of the area say the projects have been benefiting them. <laughs> Previously, we were suffering a lot due to absence of this irrigation. But after this project has been started, we are really benefiting from it, she said. There has been many changes in our daily life. Previously, we have no knowledge about the irrigation development. But after experts oriented us, we are benefiting a lot from the project. The pastoralists also asked the government to fill all the necessary equipment for their production. Vice President of the Oromia Regional State and Coordinator of Social Cluster, Taiba Hassan, said the project is unique by this kind and call upon the pastoralists to work hard and benefit from it. Our pastoralists should be engaged in production. You should not be only pastoralists, but you have to be a good farmer and pastoralist. We believe that our pastoralists should be good in both farming and pastoralism. I want to call upon you to work hard and benefit from your effort. This project is very helpful, so you have to benefit and develop your economy, she said. Taiba also called upon the nearby community to protect the project and benefit from it. She also promised to fulfill the necessary materials for the pastoralists. Head of the Oromia Agriculture and Natural Resource Bureau, Daba Dabali, for his part, noted that the bureau is working to solve the socio-economic problem of the community. We are in a good progress and paying a better attention for areas like this. Our main work is to help and support you. Our bureau will work for strong cooperation with the community. We will answer all your questions in near future. Our experts will assist you in all what is necessary from them. The delegation has also inaugurated different projects in the district of Boranathon, which are worth 290 million baht. 
Residents of Nakamta town have vowed to ensure peace and security of their area and engage in development workers. Some development projects are be, being constructed in town for the cost of over 77 million per have been concluded and ready for service. Fikaru Brown has more on that. Israel selected avocado seed can give fields after two or three years. Farmers of Karsa district of Jimma zone said that they have been developing the series and are ready to expand it. We have got training on how to develop these avocado seeds in order to get more benefit. So we are developing it with great care. I hope we will get much benefit from it. This seed is very improved seed even better than coffee seed. I expect good product from it. Farmers' farmland have also been visited by a delegation led by head of the Oromia Rural Development Cluster with the rank of Vice President, Dr. Girma Amante. Dr. Girma Amante said the government is working to expand good experiences of Israel across the region to benefit the farmers from avocado production. <laughs> This support has been offered for you to produce much products which can solve market problem of avocado and beyond that. So I call upon you and the youth to turn your face to the development activities in order to win poverty. He adds that the government is ready to facilitate global market for the farmers. Ambassador of Israel to Ethiopia, Rafael Muraf, for his part, notes that they are working in collaboration with Jimma University to expand avocado seeds. That is aiming to um, introduce the high varieties of uh, avocado for export. Mm -hmm. And as we can see here, it succeeds very well. The introduction to the farmers is also very well. There is a higher demand that can be produced here in this nursery. And I think that it's also very important for the diversification of the agriculture sector here, which is traditionally coffee. And we don't come to replace the coffee, but I think we, uh, it's a project that aims to add to, to the coffee to, uh, traditional uh, culture. Mm -hmm and uh, it has a very high potential because here the land and the conditions are really uh, ideal for avocado growing mm -hmm. and uh, I expect that uh, within a few years we'll start to see uh, exports uh, from this region to, to Europe and to foreign markets of avocado. Acting Dean of Agriculture College with Jimma University, Bantit Eresa underscored that his university is working to increase product and productivity of the farmers supporting by the study. Israel, technology Israel has good experience on agricultural technologies. It is the country which could change the desert to development area. So we are working with them to increase product and productivity of our farm. We apologize for the technical error. Just let me read the lead for the former news. Farmers of Karsa district of Jimazon are developing selected avocado seeds using modern technologies. That was the voice of Karurano. Now it's from you know, proceed to the next news. Residents of Neck Empty Town vowed to ensure peace and security of their area in engaging in development workers. Some development projects is being undertaken in the town for the cost of over 77 million bro has been inaugurated and uh, are ready for the service. So Richard Abanisha has the detail. In Nekemte town of East Wellegazo, various developmental projects constructed at a cost of about 80 million per have officially opened for service. The project consists of building for a commercial center, which was constructed at a cost of 30 million per, and a condominium houses constructed at a cost of 49 million per. Some residents of Nekemte town who visited the project stated that they are happy by the project is constructed for them. We know that it cost huge budget and it took a long time for finishing. Now, when we got it on this stage, it creates hope in us. We believe that if it is transferred for citizens in similar speed, it has a significant role in solving lack of good governance. Head of Nekamte Town Municipality, Director Toler, expect that the town's administration has been working to create opportunity in which residents with low income can get the house. <laughs> 
What our people have to understand us is we never make them to pay rent on the ground floor house. We decided that the town's municipality can rent only the house above the first floor. The Raja called upon the residents of the town to calmly follow the process of transfer. Mayor of Nekamte Town, Bogale Shuma Forest Park, said that the town's residents have to ensure peace of their town in order to make the government serve the public and discharge its responsibility. 16 new developmental projects are being constructed in Nekamte Town with the cost of over 57 million bar. Agriculture natural resource experts urged the nation wise to wisely use limited aqua resources. They also recommended the government to give due attention for the sector. So the check out reports. <laughs> Ethiopia is endowed with several water bodies that contain high diversity of fish species. Different experts of aquaculture state that Ethiopia having several water bodies that is conducive for fish production, but the sector was not developed. And so what I'm looking at is the potential for developing aquaculture for farmers in Ethiopia, looking at uh, which species might be the best, uh, how to go about producing those, and uh, which markets might be available for that. Fair amount of water here. Not all of it is, is perfect for growing fish, uh, but there's lots of opportunities, especially where water is readily available, even in some of the lakes for doing cage culture or pond culture where you have water available year round. Uh, the, the urged that poor government policies on the aquaculture and the low awareness of Ethiopians on consuming fish are among the factors which affected the sector. Ethiopia is at the start of a journey in aquaculture and uh, in terms of your country, culturally you're not great fish eaters, but in terms of aquaculture and providing protein in the future, and a lower cost protein, there's great potential there. So perhaps the first thing to say is in the surrounding countries like Kenya, um, uh, Uganda regionally in, in the East African region and above you in Egypt, aquaculture is doing very well and is, is providing incomes and jobs for a lot of people and food. The experts suggested areas which need due attention by all stakeholders. Government and other NGOs, they may just involve in production of uh, fingerlings. When say fingerlings, we should have a quality product stock that may just uh, uh, develop uh, with regard to the genetic or something like that. So that the quality product stock or fingerling production is very uh, essential so that we should have center for that one. And the third one is we should have also the center for or uh, fish production so that investor farmers and uh, other uh, uh, smallholder farmers will get this uh, input to produce fish farming so that that may reduce the problems that we have uh, currently. In the last month, the International Conference on Aquatic Resources and Aquaculture for Sustainable Development was held in Hawassa University.